Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> we really do have a lot of area to cover. We need to find them fast and get out before the sun rises. Who's there? Hmm? I guess this late at night. What are you doing out here? I'm real sorry, but you'll have to go. The orders are not to let any strangers into the manor or even onto the estate while my master's away. If it's not too much trouble, maybe you could come back and have a talk. <laughs> Sebastian's, and you don't want to cross him, I promise. So what it comes down to, mate, is you're not going anywhere. Oh, such a mess. Look at all that blood. You were mean, though. That hurt, and it's not nice to hurt people. Peter, Wendy, there's something wrong with this place. Get out of here while you still can. Jumbo! What happened? <laughs> Impossible, we took out Jumbo? Please don't shout like that, it's the middle of the night! You'll wake the Lady Elizabeth if you don't... Boy, you killed Jumbo! You're gonna bloody pay! Oh, you got me riled up! That was my favorite art, you know! I needed to hide something important. That art was given to me by the old master! <laughs> 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 To the west. Bloody hell, it's raining bullets. How big an army does he have? That little brat's gonna have to wait. Sorry, Wendy. instructions. Welcome the master every day with a manner that is spotlessly clean. That is a maid's job, after all. When this place gets dirty, I get rid of the filth! To him. How many shooters can they possibly have? Just one? There's only one? And that means all those rifles up there were so she wouldn't have to wait. 
waste of time reloading any of them. Jumbo had the right of it. We gotta clear out of here right now. These people are bloody mad. Hold on, no. Is it possible? A roof full of rifles or not? Random shooting wouldn't work at that range. This is bad. It's useless. No matter how far you run, you little rat, I can still see you clear as day. <gasps> Lady Elizabeth, whatever is the matter? I guess I was just startled. Did you hear a loud noise just a moment ago? Oh, oh, oh. I haven't heard a peep all night. You must have dreamed it, lady. It seems so real, though. But I suppose if you didn't hear anything... Now, please, my lady, get back into bed before you catch cold. There's nothing to worry about, I can assure you. surprise in being a noble and all the others are better fighters we can let them handle that you and I'll focus on finding the targets <laughs> hi there I've been waiting for you if anyone was stationed at the back door and May Ren had a side entrance is covered, even you just one place to get in, see? Uh, hey now, that's not polite! I was talking! Why? Don't take my thing! Sorry! Damn it! Everybody's a Solomon Grundy trying to live fast and die young. It's a real waste! Better to take it easy, don't you agree? Oi, Finney! May Wren! Let's show them who they're tangling with, eh? What? Who gives them made guns? What kind of place is this? Oopsie! have found their way to the drawing room. Go at them from the west wing. Roger, then. Finney, you can approach them from the central staircase. And don't get lost, all right? Yes, sir! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Quick, stand back! <laughs> <laughs> Freak again. There we go. This one. Oh, oh, that hurt. Who are these bastards? It'd really help if you'd stay still. That was close. Yeah. This place ain't right, I tell you. Not at all. Given how well prepared they seem to be, I guess the Earl's already in hiding somewhere. Our best bet is to retreat and regroup. Let's hurry to the roof and catch up with Peter and Wendy. 
And Joker just had to be gone tonight, eh? Mm. I hope he's okay. and gander. Must be awful tiring wandering upstairs and downstairs. This is no lady's chamber, though. Welcome to the end of the road, the kitchen. Why should we worry about the end of the road? You're the one who's unarmed. That's where you're wrong. The kitchen is a chef's sanctuary. Even the butler can't interfere with my domain. It's full of tools no bloody butler knows about. For example... What the hell is that? Let's give this girl a go. Yeah! It's the latest. Old Hiram brought it over from the States. Impressive, ain't she? Mark my words, with this baby available, war will be a lot different than it was in my day. <gasps> For sheer destruction, it's tops, but the accuracy could use some work. But it's told a master it's got a ways to go for it's ready for mass production. over a good point, maybe. I think that would have been real nice. I'll make you pay! You think you can get away that easily? No. Venice! That's about it for the mise en place. I did warn you, didn't I? The kitchen's a place full of all kinds of secrets. I'll even let you in on one of them. The finer you grind up the flammable powder, the easier it is to ignite. Fascinating, isn't it? In fact, when you get the right concentration, it's so combustible and so diffuse that it might as well be an explosive gas. I mean, just look at what happened across the pond. There was a flour mill accident in Minnesota that sent 18 men to meet their maker. Real sorry, darling. This is our job. Nothing personal. My servants. Those are actually private soldiers who were handpicked to guard my manor. No. They'll protect Phantom Hive's secrets and Phantom Hive pride from anything. After all, that's what makes a Phantom Hive servant. 